Hello, this is recording a tool frame using the three point method. Again, the uh, best way of doing it is direct entry, uh, which means you actually can measure stuff. And if you have something just um, offset from the face plate, that's probably the easiest. So it's just straight down. But what I want to show you is say you got something that's a little offset. Yes, in this case, I just put a pointer that's kind of off kilter. So it's not quite on the center point it's it's not quite on the on the on uh joint six it's kind of off kilter um it's just for you know so that could simulate a, a, a weird homemade end of arm tooling that you have something but we want to be able to use that as like maybe our maybe a drill maybe a, like a, a an end mill or something along that lines or it could just be a way of picking something up out of something you know just it could be a thousand different things but let's just for the sake of argument say that this is our end of arm tooling it's just a simple pointer and what you'll need in the real world and i don't expect you to know robo guide i'm just kind of um this is what you would do in the real world and robo guide it's 10 times easier because you just move the little triad but this is what you would do in the real world first you need a point of reference out in the in the real world that you can jog to and what you're going to do is kind of come down straight on come down at a 90 degree angle and then come down at uh, at another 90 degree angle. You're basically making your own triad at the end of your tool. All right. There's other ways of going about this. You could come down, um, you know, straight on, rotate it 180 degrees, and then do it off into the side. That's an easier way of doing it. But I want to teach you this way because um, this is the uh, uh, surefire way. But one thing to keep in mind is that when you do start doing this, make sure you have clearance for your robot. OK, because as you roll through, roll through, roll through this, this, there needs to be clearance in the robot, because if you're not, especially if you got a cert cart like I do, um, you may not be able to put this right in the middle of your, your robot because your robot won't be able to get to the side of it. So you may need to move it off to the side. And, and so you got to think about your motions before you do that, especially if it's a cert cart or a confined space. So how you get to the user frames is you hit menu and you go to setup and you go to frames, okay? Um, this is our this is our frame and we're gonna set up tool frame number three, okay? If you don't see that it's saying tool frame up here, uh, just hit other and make sure um, tool frame is active, okay? This will show you the active tool frame. We're gonna go into tool frame three and we're gonna hit um, detail, all right? Right now, this is set up for the direct entry method. And if you wanted, if you knew the offset, you could just go in and go, you know, 2.3, uh, negative four, you know, for instance, and that will give you a new, new tool, set, tool center, uh, tool center point uh, on that tool frame. Okay. Um, so I ain't gonna, I'm just gonna do zero, zero, just to clear it out. But we're, if you type on method, you, you see a bunch of different methods and we're gonna do the three point method. Okay. We're gonna name it something. So I'm gonna hit enter and um, F5 down to keyboard and I'm gonna type in, type in, I don't know, um, donut plunger. Well, maybe it's a donut plunger. Because maybe it's a, a thing that goes in to pick up donuts, I don't know. So hit, hit enter and now that's the name. So the first thing is we have, pro, anytime you see the uninitiated that's what it means there's no, no data recorded so um i have this instead i have a job to save me from jogging just because it would save time but you're literally going to do this with your teach pendant is jog the robot to this position so i'm going to hit shift um you know shift forward and it's going to move to the first position and i'm going to slowly move on and if you take a look I am basically uh, in three dimensions, straight down on top of things. Ideally, you go, go point to point. I just found this little this thing that was close enough. You just need a point of reference, and the, the more precise of point of reference, the better. So I'm down straight on it, and you can see that it's still offset. If I um, zoom around, you can see I'm straight on it from multiple different angles. Okay, and so when I'm at this point, I will go to approach point one and hit record. Okay, 
Now, the next thing to do is I would zoom out and let me, um, I would get away from your robot and you gotta reorient your robot's uh, uh, configuration. So, and you can do this on the robot. It's just easier if you kind of back away from it because that way you can change your whole robot's configuration a lot easier. So in this case, I'm rotating around and there I am, okay? You can see now, instead of going straight down, I'm kind of on, on, this, on the side, okay? And so now I will basically come right down on it at a perpendicular 90 degree angle. So I came down straight on it, I touch, and if you notice, it is basically right on top from, and you should look around it to see that it's basically right on, as close as you can to the 90 degrees. Go to approach point two, hit record, and now once again, move away and reorient your, ro your robot's uh, configuration. So I moved the robot away, linear up, and it's just moving away. And now I'm going to reorient the robot's configuration. So now it was back to the original one. And now I'm going to go to the side. You could have done this one foul swoop. For me, it was easier to get to this way. And now I, I jog the robot to a side position. And you can see I'm basically right on the side straight down on it, okay? At this point, I will hit record position. And now you see data that populate. And I'm just gonna forward this to completion, just so it gets back to normal, because I want to demonstrate you know, the tool center point. So now that I have this recorded, I can check it. Okay, so if I hit shift, and the cord button, this allows me to change the active tool frame to three. Now something funky happened because user frame two, you know, um, because this is Rubble Guy that disappeared. But let me go into user frame tool and two and change things up. So, so. and now fixing for Robo Guide, as you can see. As you can see that um, this tool frame is basically right on it. Now, again, it's not exact because I was doing this in a hurry, but it should line up straight on it. But you can see where it's kind of up in space. In RoboGuide, I can kind of fix, uh, you know, I can, I can kind of fix it, but I'm not going to. But that's why you have to be precise. Um, again, uh, it, if I was in RoboGuide, it would be a lot easier. But but notice now, if I'm in this tool center point, if I jog in world, so if it's shift cord, and I'm in user frame zero, which means I'm in world, um, previous, if I hold down X roll, you can see I'm rolling across that point. If I roll, roll back, You can see I'm moving with the reference at point here, and it's not doing too bad of a job. I can Z down and it's gonna be, you know, and you can see it's rolling across that Z axis there. Kind of looks like I'm turning uh, two turntables and a microphone. And you can see it's keeping that tool center point the same. So while the default is on the faceplate, what we did with that three point method, it was now set it up in the real world to say that this is um, reality. Now, the only time you should, the one one little trick, if you're in, you're really never gonna jog in the tool frame. So if I hit sh shift tool, this is the, the, the triad, because it's hard to understand where the X and the Y is, but you always know the Z. So the only time I really recommend jogging in the tool frame is say your robot just, so say right here, I just crashed, you know, crashed into something and the robot stopped. Okay. 
Say I crash. How do I get out? Well, cord over to tool while you're in your actor tool frame, shift Z minus, and it's always going to take you away from your part. Um, that's the best use I know for jogging in tool fr the tool frame. Uh, so you set your, you know, set up your tool frame in, in any frame, like world is a big popular one. Um, once you set up your, your position points, you can then uh, jog and make it active and it should rotate around that position. So if you have any questions, I'm happy to help and have a good day.